series of positive terms tests of convergence or divergence now we have already studied about comparison test in our first video and cauchy root test and all the ratio tests in our second video so in this one we are going to study about two more tests the first one is kumar's test this states that let summation an be a series of positive terms and let bn be a sequence we denote sequence in this way be a sequence of positive real numbers so we now need to construct another sequence which is wn where wn equals to an by an plus 1 into bn minus bn plus 1 then what are the conditions the first condition is the series an converges if lower limit wn is greater than 0 and the second condition is the series an diverges if upper limit wn is less than 0 provided the series 1 by bn is a divergent series now taking a look at some special cases lower limit wn equals to upper limit wn equals to limit n tends to infinity wn let's say equals to l then the series an converges if l is greater than 0 and the series an diverges if l is less than 0 where the series 1 by br is a divergent series so from here we can say that d alambert's ratio test is a particular case of kumar's test so how does that happen for that we take bn equals to 1 for all n then clearly bn is a divergent series then wn can be written as an by an plus 1 minus 1 hence by kumar's test we can say the series an converges if lower limit an by an plus 1 minus 1 is greater than 0 that is if lower limit an by an plus 1 is greater than 1 also the series an diverges if upper limit 
a n by a n plus 1 minus 1 is less than 0 which means that upper limit a n by a n plus 1 is less than 1. So this is d Alembert's ratio test which we have already studied. In fact, Rabi's test is also a particular case of Kumar's test. How does that happen? For Rabi's test, we take bn equals to n so that the series 1 by bn equals to the series 1 by n. This is a divergent series. From here, wn becomes an by an plus 1 into n minus n plus 1. This can be written as n into an by an plus 1 minus 1 minus 1. This equals to Rn minus 1. From here, Kumar's test gives us the series An converges if lower limit Rn minus 1 greater than 0. That means lower limit Rn is greater than 1 and the series An diverges if upper limit Rn minus 1 is less than 0 which means upper limit Rn is less than 1. So this is Rabi's test. In a similar way, using Kumar's test, we can also prove another test called Gauss test, which gives the results of D. Alembert's ratio test and Rabi's test in a more compact form. So from here, we come to the fifth test, which is Gauss's test. Now this states let the series a n this is a series of positive real constants now suppose we can express a n by a n plus 1 equals to 1 plus a by n plus beta n by n to the power of p where p is greater than 1. Where beta n is a bounded sequence Then we come to two conditions which are the series An converges if A is greater than 1 and the series An diverges if A is less or equal to 1. Now Bn is a bounded sequence and also it will be sufficient if Bn is a convergent sequence because then it will be necessarily bounded. So let's test a series. Example. 
the series is 1 by 2 plus 1 into 3 by 2 into 4 plus 1 into 3 into 5 by 2 into 4 into 6. This continues till 1 into 3 into 5, 2n minus 1, odd numbers by 2 into 4 into 6 till 2n which are even numbers. For solution, first we will take a n where a n equals to 1 into 3 into 5 till 2n minus 1 by 2 into 4 into 6 till 2n. Now we need to test the series a n. So by ratio test which is a n by a n plus 1 we get 2n plus 2 by 2n plus 1. Now this tends to 1 as n tends to infinity. So the ratio test does not give a definite conclusion. We need to know that when the ratio test fails we can at once try the Gauss's test without going through the other tests. So we can now try the Gauss's test. Here a n by a n plus 1 equals to 1 plus 1 by 2 n plus 1. This equals to 1 plus 2 n by 2 n into 2 n plus 1. We can definitely write this. This may equal to 1 plus 2 n plus 1 minus 1 by 2n into 2n plus 1. We can also write this to bring it to the form where we can solve Gauss's test. 1 plus 1 by 2n minus 1 by 2n into 2n plus 1. This equals to 1 plus half by n minus 1 by n square into n by 2 into 2n plus 1. So this gives us our Gauss's test form 1 plus a by n plus beta n by n square where a equals to half and beta n equals to minus n by 2 into 2n plus 1. So we need to note that beta n equals to minus 1 by 2 into 2 plus 1 by n. This tends to minus 1 by 4 as n tends to infinity. Hence, beta n is a convergent sequence. And hence it is bounded. So from here we can say that by Gauss's test the series A n diverges because A equals to half which is less than 1. So it satisfies the second condition which stated that A should be 
less or equal to 1, then only the series a n will diverge. So we can see that a equals to half which is less than 1. So definitely the series a n diverges. So in this way the two tests are done.